and on to the fourth entry of the series. We're doing Sturgeon Shipyard now. Funnily enough, they have the same pairing for the for this rotation, but that really doesn't matter. Uh, so, another lot to the stage that's an unpainted prop. I imagine that might be separate, but it might not be. Things that are unpaintable typically are separate, so please keep that in mind. This stage's internal name is Nagasaki. Yeah, it sounds very similar to Albuquerque Hotels, which was Nakasu, but... They're very much different. These things, these uh, rotate, rotating things, because they move, are LFTs. They will be referred to as such. They'll probably have its internal name because they're such a large asset of the stage. There's two of these. There's one here and there's one here and they're mirrored obviously. So here's a sponge. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, The stage has a lot of similarities with, uh, visually speaking, Hammerhead Bridge, due to the very iron nature of it. Another uh, general box not paint, there's one here and also one over there. They just seem to be placed on the edge of their respective grates. That's an LFT caviar can, as I am either about to mention or have mentioned in a previous video. If not, uh, that, because it's dangling, is a separate object, LFT caviar can. It just, it attaches to that, and since it dangles, since it is a part of the stage, I can't reach it now with my dual use belches, but um, if I had an e-leader, I probably could hit it. Uh, can I... Actually, why am I doing that? I could probably just... Yeah. Hello. There. Because it's not paintable as well. It's part of the... Um... That's the BB. No one needs to worry about that. Personal preference. This stage is my least favourite aesthetically. It's just so boring. Uh, this is a general box. Pretty self-explanatory. It's the two... Oh, this is going to count down. Okay, then. It's a countdown that should literally speak for itself. Go back on the stage. Let me see, is there anything else? Those are moving. They will either be a separate object or will be in the center of the stage. That could be in the abyss, for all we know. Oh my god, this thing! Why do I need to go up there? Anyway, this thing is super close. But yeah, since it's a, you know, a wall that's floating in game terms, that's why it's here. Also, bumper zero two because it's wide. It looks like there's two of them merged into one. That's why. Okay, no, actually, it's because it's bigger. But they are basically two merged into one, space-wise. One on both sides. There's no other props that seem to move. They're just there. 
I think they might be a part of the stage, but I don't know. Considering they're moving, they will be separate somehow. Yeah, the rest isn't really animated as much. Could be separate, this thing here. Uh, but I don't know. Hold on, I'll just um. There's more props like that. Yeah. Let's just. I can't imagine the RGA trap on that. That must be the most annoying thing ever to do. Let me just go over here to see it. Yeah, these could be separate. I don't know what they'd be called, but they could be. Same with this one. It's a singular one, but it's the same thing. It's just, it's like the general boxes, but a cylinder if we're being nice. Not all things that are uninkable could be separate, like I imagine this might be part of the stage and these cylinders could be too i have no idea i haven't loaded any of them because i don't really i haven't really bothered to look at them say other than these moving platforms of which there are four they're even shown in the in the uh, DRC map which is what this map is. This map is called the DRC map and how is this rendered? Well actually underneath my feet there is another model and that model is shown when you do this and that model has just generic uh, general box textures and stuff like that to, uh, along with a general concrete texture and it renders that as this that's how you see everything in the dark grey and the, all the walls and such even general boxes have a DRC map anything that shows up on here has a DRC map generally you don't want to care about that you want to get rid of the DLC map because the DLC map is useless to anyone except, you know, this. Oh, okay. Fine. There should be nothing left, really. Yeah, I don't expect much to be down there. There could be something. I mean, I can see a bit of floor, but that w that's just considered abyss, so there won't be much down there. Um, or, you know, it could just prove me wrong and put a whole bunch of metal stuff under there. Um, much else to it. I'll go left one last time, but after this that should be it. I guess for scale comparison you can use the door here the door here um maybe uh uh 
uh, the stickers here, I guess. Um, Now you're probably wondering, this is a flashing texture, how is this handled? Wouldn't this be like separate? No, because the object isn't moving, it's just the texture that is. Uh, it, it would likely just be an emissions texture. I believe I've looked at Marooner's Bay, which has a similar thing to this, and... Uh, yeah, it's just two, I think it's just two EMM textures. This will just likely be the same. Because the object itself doesn't move. You look like that thing up there is like moving ever so slightly. Like I have the camera almost perfectly still and you can see it's moving. Uh, that isn't moving. I hate to point out the obvious, but there are many people who like probably don't think about this. And it's worth pointing it out. What this whole series is for. Other than that, there's not much to say. Caviar can exists. Um, actually, because, hold up. Yeah, because it's a central object, there's only one of it. It's not mirrored per se. It technically mirrors itself. Like, cut the thing in half and it mirrors itself. It's like the bumper down below, but it's a floating wall. anything really else to say here. Um, yeah, mainly just the stuff I mentioned, like, your main concern, if you don't care about the general box stuff, or like, well, we're really the bump, the bumpkers, are the sponges, the general boxes, and these things, these moving platforms. Other than that, and obviously the cranes, but um, otherwise there's no need to care about them, and yeah, the rest of the stage kind of speaks for itself, so... Yeah, see you in the next one. <laughs>